be putting in our mouths today? Shut up, Ben. Hello! It's battle time. Welcome to another Ultimate Battle. This time, the topic is hot dogs. But there's a twist. This time, I'm going to give each of the boys an identical sausage and bun. What they do with it from there on in is up to them. They're going to need to go and get ready. Let's do this. I'm going to win this by making a spaghetti marinara hot dog sub. Yeah. To start, we're going to need a tomato salad. Take your tomatoes, chop them in half, stick them in a tray. Crush some garlic, peel it, stick it in a tray. Take some salt, pepper, and stick it in a tray. Get some olive oil, and guess what? Stick that in a tray. Stick that in an oven for half an hour at a very high heat, and then you've got some time to do whatever you want to do. Bear with me. Take one of these, and some of this, and put them together like this. I'm really happy with this. Once they're together, then open them up very gently. Whoa, get your water, bring it up to a boil, and then add your spaghetti sausagey thing into it. This is the easiest tomato sauce you've ever seen in your life. All you have to do is now mash it up, add a little bit of sugar, and a couple of gloves of balsamic vinegar. And that's it, that's simple. Come here. And it broke a little bit. I mean, it doesn't look sexy yet, but you wait. If you're looking for a winner's hot dog recipe, then this is the one. If you want some really dodgy doggy puns, then it's time for some Jamie time. Now, when I'm not eating steak, I like to eat banh mi sandwiches. I know, slightly surprising. But I do love a good banh mi. And I thought, a banh mi and a hot dog, I'm going to wow you. We're going to embark on our recipe with a pickled slaw. To make our pickled slaw, we're just going to cut up a fine julienne of carrots, cucumber, radish or daikon if you can get hold of it, spring onion, a red chilli and crushed some garlic. Put it all into a bowl with some rice wine vinegar and some sugar and let it mingle for a while. I didn't want this bit, this is just a... Bad dog! <laughs> Hello. 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 Oh, yes. Hello. I'm here to tell you about this week's recipes. Oh, I would love that. I would so love it. I'm so happy. Oh, would you like that? Oh, yes. I'd love oh. that. On Tuesday, we did a lasagna. Oh, I love lasagna. Oh, I love lasagna too. This one was a little bit different. It had spinach in it. It had spinach in it, which meant it was a bit lighter. On Friday, we had a big night in. We did have a big night in. It was uh, calzone. It was a mushroom and spinach calzone, which is just like pizza, but somehow it's better because I don't know why. Why am I doing this? I don't know. I've got a comment of the week. <laughs> It's from Tumblr. How unusual. Uh, it's an unusual comment of the week. Oh, and also it's not a comment. I've got a picture of the week. Oh! And it is a collage of pictures of Ben's legs. He takes a lot of pictures of legs, doesn't he? he it's a problem. It's a problem that we have to face, and I thought I'd share it with you. Right, that's me done. All right, mate, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. I'm going to pee on his leg. We're going to cook our sausage in some hot water for a few minutes and whilst that is cooking, we are going to start the construction process. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? Let's see what Mike's got. For Lost and Hungry, I went to Tucson, Arizona, and I tried a Sonoran hot dog. So I'm gonna try and replicate that today with untraditional Mexican ingredients. And because of that, I'll probably come second. The hot dog I tried had an amazing pico de gallo, and that is diced onion, diced tomatoes, de-seeded and chopped jalapenos. I've solved the conundrum of not crying while chopping onions, and that is, wear one of these. Now this all goes into a bowl and gets mixed up with a squeeze of lime and some salt. Mm. And then you need to let it rest up for 30 minutes to just induce all of those beautiful flavours. And don't forget coriander, like I just did. And remember to taste it as you go along. Mmm, delicious. Now I'm going to take my wiener in my hand and wrap it in streaky bacon before griddling it for 10 minutes. Bacon hot dogs, making bacon hot dogs. Get some bacon in and put it in. A and now it's time to construct. I guess all that's left now is to get Ebers in to judge it. Uh, 
Hay là mấy <cười> Don't cut it up, it ruins the idea of it. They're all shot together. Already, the originality of it, I love. You've done hot dog meets Italy. Yeah. With a frankfurter. Stop pulling the chilli out, Ben. Hot. Yes. Tangy. Yes. Kind of sweet, probably yeah. from the brioche and the sugar that you put in there. Yep. Pate and hot dog. Yep. That needs to be done again. Poor conception. Poor conception. I mean, this one looks pretty cool. It has literally got everything going on in there. Yeah. A lot of mustard. Tangy. You guys go and decide by having sorted food. All of these will be on their profiles. The one that gets the most likes wins. <sighs> well, don't forget to comment down below and tell us which is your favourite, otherwise this whole effort is pointless. I think that fridge cam had everything. It had some impulse Amazon purchases from Mike. It had Ben's legs. And Barry's wagging tail. Until fridge cam Sunday 10am next week. Woof! <laughs>